you should already have read the passage and maybe even done the questions. Let's go through the passage one more time together. Dear Diary, Today I went on a school trip to the zoo. So I know that this is a journal entry that the author is writing and that she's writing about her trip to the zoo. My teacher asked if our parents could help out as volunteers. I was the first in my class to ask mom to help out. I thought mom would say no because she's always so busy at work. To my delight, mom agreed to come along. She even said she would prepare some food for me. So in this paragraph, we know that at first, the author thought that mom would say no to joining them on the school trip because she's always so busy at work. However, mom agreed to come along. To my delight tells me that the author is very happy and delighted that the mom could go along on the school trip. My classmate Hafiz also asked his father to join us. Hafiz's father is very tall and wore a cap. So Hafiz asked his father, his father is very tall and wore a cap. He said it was such a hot day so we must drink a lot of water. He refers to Hafiz's father. Mom wore a big floppy hat and sunglasses. She brought yummy snacks for my classmates and me to share. She refers to mom. Hafiz said to me, Emma, your mother looks like a movie star. So we know that the author's name is Emma and that her mom looked like a movie star. We saw many animals in the zoo. My favourite was the elephant. So Emma's favourite was the elephant. I asked mom what her favourite was. She said, the chimpanzee because it reminds me of you, my cheeky baby. Love, Emma. So we know, once again, that this journal entry is written by Emma. Now that we understand the passage, let's look at the questions. Where did Emma and her classmates go for their school trip? So where, I'm asking you about the venue, the place that they went to. And we know that they went to the zoo. Question 2. Why did Emma think her mother would not join her for the school trip? So remember we saw this earlier? I thought mom would say no because she's always so busy at work. Okay, so we also need to take note that the question asked us in the past tense, did. So our answer should also be in the past tense. So Emma thought that her mother would be too busy with work to join her for the school trip. We use the past tense, thought. If you need more time to write this down, you can pause the video and write it down. Question 3. How did Emma feel when her mother agreed to go on the school trip? So how did she feel? To, to my delight, mom agreed. So this tells me that Emma was delighted. And take note once again, the question is asking me in the past tense, so I answer in the past tense as well. Emma was delighted. Question 4. Based on clues from the text, do a character study of Emma's mother. This is the first clue we have about Emma's mother. We know that Emma's mother wore a big floppy hat and sunglasses. Hafiz said she looked like a movie star. So if you imagine this, you can imagine a very fashionable lady. So if we were to describe Emma's mother, we can call her fashionable. Another clue we have about Emma's mother can be found in the last sentence. Emma's mother said that her favourite animal was a chimpanzee because it reminded her of Emma. From this, we know that Emma's mother knows how to make jokes and that she is a funny person. So these are two words that we can use to describe Emma's mother. Do note that there are many other acceptable answers and you do not have to write exactly these two words. This is just an example of what you can write and what you can infer from the text. Question 5. Read the following sentences. Based on the passage, tick true or false. 
Question six. Hafiz's father looked like a movie star. So we are talking about Hafiz's father. Remember in the text, we said Emma, your mother looks like a movie star. So it's not Hafiz's father that looked like a movie star, but Emma's mother. So this statement is false. Question seven. Hafiz told Emma to drink a lot of water. It was not Hafiz who told Emma to drink a lot of water, but Hafiz's father that said that they had to drink a lot of water. So once again, this statement is false. Question 8. Emma and her friends saw many animals in the zoo. If you look at the third paragraph, you know that this is true. Question 9. Hafiz's favourite animal was the elephant. This is not true because it was Emma's favourite animal that was the elephant. We do not know Hafiz's favourite animal. This statement is false. Question 6. Last question. Why was the chimpanzee Emma's mother's favourite animal? Option 1. The chimpanzee had a cheeky baby. Option 2. Emma was cheeky like the chimpanzee. Option 3. She thought that Emma liked the chimpanzee too. So in the last sentence, Emma's mother said that she thought the chimpanzee was just like Emma. So the correct answer will be number 2. And that is the end of today's reading comprehension lesson. Thank you.